Today I'm at the National Solar Thermal Testing Facility here in Albuquerque, New Mexico to learn about a revolutionary technology that creates electricity without creating any harmful emissions. The brilliant minds here have figured out a way to use mirrors to collect energy using the sun's heat. Really big mirrors and a lot of them. This is Bruce. Bruce, how do you fit into this whole equation? Hey, Matt. I'm uh, the CEO of Sterling Energy Systems, SES. Nice. So you're basically the one who could tell me, what are these things? Absolutely. This is our model power plant. It's a slice out of a utility-scale solar power plant. It's a slice out of a utility-scale solar power plant. I don't know what that means. Well, these are prototypes. And what, right now, what we have are two contracts for the world's two largest solar electric power plants. Is this going to be the future of how we create electricity? Absolutely. So, how, I mean, how does the whole thing work? Yeah, well, first, this is a 25 kilowatt system. We call it a solar dish Stirling system, or sun catcher for short. Okay, so starting with the sun catcher, how many mirrors are on the sun catcher? Yeah, so on the, on the dish part of it itself, there are 82 mirrors, and what happens is the sun comes in, this turns and tracks the sun just like a big sunflower, and it collects all that energy, and, and then on the mirrors, it reflects it up to the power conversion units. Each of those 82 mirrors on there are precisely aligned up to the power conversion unit. Now, the power conversion unit is that, that buzz we hear That's in the background? That's that buzz you hear, yep. When we get on the backside, I'll show it to you. Okay. So it's kind of like the dish, in a way, kind of sits like this. Sunlight comes in, and it collects all the sunlight, and it powers it or, or directs it towards one spot? That's right. It's coming in and it, it bounces off the mirrors and it redirects and concentrates it. 